everybody! Welcome to a brand new episode of the Caffeinated Critics. I'm David. And I'm Declan. And today, we're going to be seeing some awesome movie reviews from all of our awesome critics. Up first is Jason with his movie review on the perfect score. This is Jason on the Caffeinated Critics here to continue my end of summer back to school movie review month. This movie was released on Friday, January 30th, 2004, and it's called The Perfect Score. Wow. Who's in the movie? Erica Christensen, Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, and Darius Miles. Wow. Oh boy. About the movie. This movie tells the story of six college students eager to ace the SAT test that they were given in college. So later on in the movie, they hatch an idea or a plan to steal the answers to the SATs. What? That's illegal and cheating. I always, I always wanted, that's what I was going to tell them that. My favorite parts scenes in the movie. The scene where the students take the SATs. Very challenging in life if I stayed, do say so myself when I go, to, if I was in college. If you are a big fan of the perfect score, I would highly recommend this movie to watch with your classmates. It's an A plus thing. This movie was on like a college student Donkey Kong. <laughs> I would give this movie two thumbs way, way up and 10 out of 10 gold SAT stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Good luck in school. Stay safe and stay in school. This is Jason Nodden, the Cabernet Critics, signing off. A plus. Now stay safe and stay in school, everybody! Wow, Jason, that was a great movie review. What did you think, Declan? Not bad at all, Deep Brodsky. Up next is Deep Brodsky with his movie reel of Bridge to Terabithia. Hi! My name is David, and today I will be reviewing Bridge to Terabithia, released on February 16th, 2007, about the movie The Life of Jesse and Adolcent changes when he befriends Leslie, the class outsider. The children create an imaginary world called Terabithia, which is inhabited by all matter of magical creatures. Who's in the movie? Josh Hutcherson, Anna Sophia Robb, Robert Patrick, Zoe Deschanel. My thoughts on the movie. I loved it. It was a great film. Director Gabar Cusco did a great job turning the classic book, Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson into a movie. My favorite scene from the movie is when Leslie gives Jesse, Jess an art kit on his birthday. Anna Sophia Robb in this film. She was very talented. You may know her as Violet Beauregard in Tim Burton's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which was a great film. If you're a big fan of Bridge to Terabithia, I highly recommend this movie take you places that you've never been before. Bridge to Terabithia is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. I give this movie two thumbs up and ten gold stars. This is David from the Caffeinated Critic signing off! Wow, Dubrowski, that was a great movie review. Why? Why? Thank you, Declan. Up, Up next, next is Ryan, Ryan with his, his movie, movie review on, on Captain, Captain America, America Winter Soldier. Hey guys, Ryan here. I'm here to review Captain America The Winter Soldier. The movie, is, the movie takes place after the events of The Avengers, where Captain America and the Avengers defeat Loki, and, and now the Captain America faces his new foe, The Winter Soldier. And now Captain America is on the run from the shield. I mean, I mean, come on! I was there Pierce framed him! I mean, what the heck's a big deal? It's got a great cast. I mean, Chris Evans as Captain America, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, and, and uh, Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, and even Sebastian Stan as Winter Soldier, and Ethne Mackie as Falcon. I love this movie the, with all the action and adventure and the comedy and the drama, you know. All the amazing elements is about exposing the criminals behind, a t behind an attack. And now Pierce wants Hydra to rule the world again. 
Why? Why? Why have a trench shield? Why? I just love Sebastian Stannis and Winter Soldier by the way. His male arm and mask and the, the bad attitude adjustment, you know. He's like, you're my mission. You're my mission. <laughs> I love that. I just love the way that Captain America throws his shield and acts like a boomerang and comes back to him. I, it's already on Disney Plus, so I hope you enjoy this one. I give this movie 10 out of 10 shields. This is Ryan of the Kennedy and Chris. <laughs> Wow, Ryan, that was a great movie review. What did you think, Declan? Not bad at all. Up, Up next, next is Al with, with his mystery, mystery movie review. review. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Captain Daily Critics. We're here with Al Sampoda. This week, he's going to be talking about Disney's Frozen 2, the sequel to the first movie. Can't wait? Yeah. Did you like, do you like the adventure scenes? Mm -hmm. what, what about the music? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite song? Some things never change. Uh, this is what we're gonna change. Did you like the humor in the movie? Yeah. Still a ball off? Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Did you like it more than the first movie? Yeah. Yep. If you give this movie a rating out of 10 stars, why don't you give it? 10 gold stars. 10 gold stars. You heard me first. This is Alex with Caffeine and Perk signing off. Nice. Good job. And, and now, now it's time, time for our Did You Know segment, segment where we give you fun facts, facts about, about movies. movies. Did you know? that for Halloween, I'm going to be dressed up as a minion. Did you know? I'm going to be the enema for Halloween. Well, that wraps up our Did You Know segments. Before we wrap things up, though, we need to answer the question, Are, are movies, movies still awesome? Liam, awesome? Liam, are, are movies still awesome? Hmm. Give me one minute. Yes. Oh. Wow, those were some great movie reviews. Don't you agree, Declan? I agree. Well, oh, that, that wraps up, up this week's episode, episode of the Caffeinated, Caffeinated Critics. Critics. We'll, we'll see you next week. week.